Let's memorize some concepts about dependency injections before starting making real injections of the code. Hello, my friends, and welcome again to the Advanced Android course. So what does a dependency mean? Whenever a class A uses another class B, then A depends on B. In such a situation, the class A is called the dependent, and the class B is called dependency. Many people asked me about dependency injection, and I decided to make everything clarified and illustrated in an infographics or uh, shapes or uh, some uh, thumb, uh, some images that uh, make uh, make sure that you understand every concepts in dependency injections and other tutorials and courses. So uh, the class A make use or depends on B. Here, let's. Let's say that the client, and which is most commonly used uh, uh, abbreviations or uh, most commonly used uh, uh, naming for uh, independence injections, that class A is a client and class B is a service. So a client make use and depends on the service. So the service is the dependency of the client. Dependency means relying on something. So class A relies on B and depends on B in making its work. Now, many people uh, may be con confused. How about making, if we have three classes or more, who is the client and who is the service? If A, class A make use of B. So if A depends on B and B depends on C. So A is the client and B is a service. And class B is a client and class C is a service. So class B may play two roles. The, the first is the client and the, uh, the first is service and the second is a client. So this is confusing, right? It's like relatively for class A, it works as a service and class B works uh, as a client for class C. So we will learn these concepts uh, throughout the course. So don't worry if you didn't understand the, uh, these concepts, but I am showing you uh, the, the, the way you may be co uh, confused and conflicting you. So class A depends on class B. This is dependency. How clients obtain references to the services? We see, in the, uh, as I told you in the previous videos, that three ways to instantiate the objects and pass them to the uh, to the methods or uh, you, uh, to the classes. So, the first one is instantiation. So, instantiation of uh, of object, like making new a reference, a static method call, like calling static methods and receiving reference from outside. So these are the objects and the client obtain the references of services. We are making here an objects of services, okay? And passing them to clients. I will separate the first two methods in obtaining the references into an active dependency resolution which is instantiation and static method call. And the third one, which we are, we are going to work on it throughout the course, is making dependency injection by receiving reference from outside. Okay? So, therefore, we have a conclusion that dependency injection is the act of injecting services into clients from outside. We have a client and we are going to inject it into, we have a service and we are going to inject it to the client from outside. This is very important. I hope you write it down or you memorize it very well. So dependency injection is the act of injecting services into clients from outside. We have class A, remember client is a class A and class B is the service. Class A depends on B in making it work. So class B or the service is the dependency of the client. So 
the act of injecting services into client from outside. Oh, really? How interesting. So what this means. We have, we will work uh, uh, through the course uh, on making these, in, uh, these techniques, making injections, real injections, and we will use frameworks such as Dagger, Hilt, and uh, other uh, frameworks for making these concepts very clear. But till now, I need to, uh, to make it and start from zero in understanding and every concept. So we have three types of dependency injections technique. We can make injection by constructor. So the constructor injection, we have the second one is the methods injection. And the third one is field injection. So for first one is constructor injection. This is very simple. Injected field can be finalized and easy to mock services in unit testing. We will see unit testing in uh, later courses and next courses. So I hope you uh, rate us five stars on Udemy and subscribe to our YouTube channel to get all these free courses uh, for freely, 100%. Now, also we are going to see in this video how to make constructor injection and what are the difference between these types of the techniques. The second one is methods. Method injection is called, uh, it, it is a signature or the method injection reflects the dependency. So the method signature reflects the dependency. We know the dependency type and the signature from the method signature. Can happen after constructor, we can, ha can be happened after the constructor injections or uh, without using the constructor injections. The field injection can happen after also, uh, the constructor also. Don't worry guys, we are going to see uh, everyone, every type uh, alone on Android Studio. So let's inject some codes. It's showtime, folks. Let's go to Android Studio and see how these, were, this, uh, these types are differentiated. I have created a new app here and it's called the I uh, app and I will create inside this app a new Java class and I will call it uh, like um, class or DI test okay and I will increase the size here in order to see how we are going to work so or i will name it as client in order to maintain the and know the differences client okay i have named it as client now i will start by making an a normal class that's called private service one and um, service one and private service two um, service two and private service three equal m service three okay Consider having like three uh, classes. Service one, I will create the class. I hit enter. I will keep them as empty. Also, create a class service two. And I will create a service three class also. Okay. In the previous, without using uh, dependency and we dependency dependency injection, and it is called depend hard dependency. I will make a method called do do anything. Okay. 
and inside this I will make uh, m service one do do something something m service two dot do something I'm calling them and m service three service three sorry dot do something okay I will cop I will create here methods like they are public uh, void do something okay these methods don't do anything just an empty in order to clarify the uh, the example and here I also need to copy them okay I'm just making them uh, empty in this way we we uh, uh, name it as hard dependency we are making any services and we are passing them into uh, the uh, do anything method okay this is uh, the hard dependency now we will start by the first time which is the uh, first type which is constructor injector okay i have three uh, services i will start with the constructor injection the second uh, method uh, the second service uh, we will make with a method injection and the third type we will make with a field injection so the constructor injection i will start injecting constructor constructor injection this is the first one how to make a constructor injection for this code i uh, i uh, need from you to pay attention constructor injection is done by making it as a final and i will pass the service here uh, in the constructor i will create a constructor here injecting the constructor alt plus insert and i will select none for now and i will pass the service one service one and here we go service one and service one equal to service one so in this way i am injecting the constructor with the service so whenever i need to create a class of client i need to create before it or a, a service and pass it and inject it with the constructor okay so i am injecting the service one with the const uh, injecting uh, injecting the constructor with the service one so this is the first one the first type of making constructor injection now i will move to the method injection this is method injection i will make here the method as it is called the same private and i will make a getter so getter method is done by alt plus insert getter and i need to inject this class by using the uh, injection method or method injection type it is here returning the m service to and we are injecting it and this is the signature of the method in this way we have the second type as the method injection is done 
Now let's go and make a third inject, third type of injection. It is called field injection. Is making for the surface number three, and it is done by making it not a private. It is making it as public. So in this way, we have done and making everything working fine in this dependency type. So, so this is how we can inject uh, the code and which type we can use and what type we are going to use, which is the perfect for our situation. When to use field injection, when to use method injection, and when to use constructor injection, and when to use injection in general. These questions, we are going to clarify them later on in the, the course, step by step. So, this is the type of injection, and this is the way we can inject. Next courses and next lessons, we are going to clarify more and more concepts. So, stay tuned.